also another snippet about business credit I didn't get to get the full video in originally because of course life happens but another thing is that you need to make sure that you go in and sign up for nav.com in a V as in victory.com and pay the little 49 bucks a month because it reports as a, a reporting credit line number one but number two, you actually get to watch your credit on all fronts, personal and business. The reason this is so important is because most people don't understand you're going to spend money anyway. Spend money and make the money work for you. You know, this is why people should not have debit cards. They should be maximizing their credit because those dollars should be working for you over and over again. I mean, you look at the Chase option, you look at the different cards and the amount of points, you're going to purchase items anyway, get the points and utilize the points so you don't have to utilize your cash. Like in everything you do, like if you understand credit, you understand manufacturing spending, you understand exactly how to use your business credit, your personal credit, because when you become a true adult and a true business person, you don't get into binds because you always have a stash, whether it be credit, cash, gold coins, stocks, whatever you're into. But at the end of the day, you should always have multiple streams. This is why I don't just do appliance repair. I do other things. And I'm learning that the knowledge I have, I have to monetize that, which is why I offer the consultations. This is why I'm creating, I've created a book and uh, a couple of uh, documents with information for people. Because at the end of the day, I realize people don't want to do the research. And let me explain something to you about people not willing to spend money. If you spend money and you can, if, if you can give me a shortcut to get where I need to be by simply applying some steps, I'm going to pay you for that knowledge. Because at the end of the day, things change and move so quickly. Like you look at, for instance, right now there are millions and millions of dollars in bid for business for government contracts, state contracts, and local contracts. How many people are even on that boat? They are so limited. The first thing they think about is, I can't do appliance repair for the government. That's foolish. Who said you had to do appliance repair? You're the, up, you're the first of all, you can source appliances, sell it to the government. You can sell appliance repair parts to the government. People do not understand how detailed this is and how many opportunities are out here. But until you mature as a business professional and develop your multiple streams, you will always be in a rat race and a hustle. Remember, we got a business so we don't have to have a job. Most people have businesses and they've created a damn uh, a, a job. And when you start moving smarter, you don't have those problems. This is why I don't share as much as I used to in Facebook groups and other areas with the free 99 because I'm not interested in dealing with that free 99 mentality. It's one thing when you're trying to get yourself off the ground and get started, but once you're in the thick of, the, the thick of it, you need to get your grind on and you need to be executing. Part of the problem is people have all these ideas and they don't have the ability to execute, nor do they understand how to employ other people to execute or delegate those responsibilities to other people, whether it be a VA, whether it be an employee, whether it be a subcontractor, learn how to delegate because the most that we all have 24 hours, you can only do so much in those 24 hours. I would rather pay people to do menial tasks or tasks that, that they are better at than I am and get it done and be able to move closer to my goals as a whole. That is a sign of maturity in business. So on the business credit piece, you need to make sure you get nav.com, uh, nav.com, and there was a time when you can get pay for it and you can monitor like five businesses at a time. I got into nav.com back in the day when you could do that. I don't know if you can still do that now. You may have to pay for each business, but you need to learn everything you can about business credit because we are moving in a direction where you need to get as far away from your personal credit as possible. Now, the advantage of having good personal credit is that if you have like a 670 or 680 or more, you can co-sign a 
uh, do a personal guarantee and get your business jump started with business credit. But the key to that is six months in, you got to separate the two. And what people do is they do the business credit thing and they have a problem. Prime example, never get a Capital One business credit card because it reports on your personal credit. Like the whole purpose of business credit is for it not to report to live in separate worlds. Most people don't realize that. I'm not a fan of Wells Fargo because they trifling when it comes to business credit. But a lot of people go to these commercial banks. This is my breakdown. I have Navy Federal Credit Union, one of the best lenders. I have Pentagon. I have PenFed. I have Pentagon Credit Union. I have uh, PenFed. I have um, Popular. Like I, every credit union I have, I have for a reason because they dominate in their areas. I have Popular Credit Union because it is international. Me being in South Florida, it's important because I do business in Puerto Rico and other uh, uh, Central America country, American countries. At the end of the day, you have to understand your business and how you move. Right now, there's so many credit unions that are flooded with money from the government that has to go to small business. Like the greatest thing, shout out to David. Uh, uh, I can never say his name properly. I'm going to say Olivia, so forgive me, David. Um, when he introduced everybody to the Goldman Sachs program, that program is a phenomenal program. It changed his life because it gave him the ability, you know, to look at business from a, a, a hundred thousand mile view up and that's important because most people do business and they don't get outside the business and look in not at the ground level you got to go in the sky and look down and you got to really look at your operations because in most businesses what people don't understand the owner is usually the problem and when i say the problem you're the bottleneck you're slowing your business down because you're trying to do everything, control everything you can. There are too many apps, there are too many programs, too, there are too many situations that are vetted. So you don't have to do that. And please understand, I am talking to myself. See, the problem with being versed in many areas is that you think you can do it all. Well, the whole purpose of me being versed in many areas is not for me to do it all. It's to make sure I don't get taken advantage of when I employ somebody else to do it from my bookkeeping to accounting to everything else. But the only reason I'm like that is because early on when I was in a corporate position and I was trying to do my side businesses and my side hustles, I was paying people top dollar and they were taking advantage of me. They were doing just some interesting things because they knew what to say at the front end, but when it came to the work, the quality and the, the ethical work was not there and those were lessons learned. So now I keep everything very close to my chest. I share things with my inner circle. All my mentees and all my coaching clients will tell you I am fully vested. They're like, I can't believe she's calling me two, three weeks later. I'm going to always reach out because it is imperative. First of all, if you were chosen to be in the program and if you're affiliated with me, it's imperative that you do well because I take it personally and it's a reflection of my leadership my coaching and mentorship. Also, I'm obligated because in order for me to be successful, you have to be successful. Because the people that I earmark to be in my mentorship and coaching programs, I always have future plans for them. Because a lot of times when I meet people, meet people I see more in them than they see in themselves. So there are plans for you that you don't even know are there as, it, as they are for me. You gotta understand, we are in the most opportunistic time in America. You know, everybody is complaining, but you're complaining because you haven't done the work to find the solution, nor have you applied the solution. You haven't taken the time to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm the problem. I can fix the problem, but I need to settle down, center myself, meditate, and be clear so I can hear the solution. Once you do that, you're good. The only reason you're up in arms, number one, you're going to the wrong people for advice who don't have the experience, number one, and who aren't going to shoot you straight. See, I hurt people's feelings, and I'm okay with that because I'd rather be the truth tailor and, and hold your ass accountable, and you hate me, than be the liar to watch you go dig your grave, and I didn't try to stop you. This is facts. 
So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because FedEx is over here trying to pay me a multi-million dollar lawsuit because this guy's swerving like he uh, don't work for FedEx in that big ass truck. But anyway, welcome back to South Florida. As you know, it's the Solid Stepper Chronicles. Have a phenomenal day and keep your head up. And remember, the key to life is not the idea. The key to life is the <laughs> flawless execution of the idea. Have a great day. Miss Ward signing off. And if you need a consultation, the links are in the description.